next week as well. So no, there is definitely um, some added benefit. And of course, um, I think it's just really important for people to be able to get a chance to recognize that um, the time spent here on evenings is not easy. Me and Cherry have definitely gotten to yawning matches later <laughs> on in the evening after having the chat for so long on here. So, no, man, just want to make sure that we as a community look out for one another. So um, I am going to type the command in the chat right now. It is exclamation point donate. And you guys will be able to chip Terry, uh, Cherry there directly. All right, so I think these guys did work on stage selects, but I don't think they did it in the uh, actual public Discord. I think that they took care of all of this stuff in PM. So we'll see in just a second. Um, long time since we've seen Ruckus. He plays a lot of the people that I like watching between the Street Fighter and the SNK characters. Cherry, who do you think he's gonna come out with? I really hope he comes out with Terry, man. Uh, I have to say, Terry, I'm a, I guess for Terry, I, I love his combo game. I love everything about that character, but I just suck at him. So it's just very enjoyable to watch people play him. And Ruckus's was super enjoyable. I had such a fun amount of time playing with him back when he was a bit more active in the scene. And I even found out that he actually has a rubber band that he would tie around his C stick and then have it hold down. So that he could do different. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Or like he'd also hold it down with like his palm of his hand, and like that's so crazy to me that um, you have to do that much <laughs> for the character for like that type of tech. But we're seeing from uh, Gargan right now. We're seeing the Byla versus the Ken from Ruckus, who also is one of those great characters of his. Yeah, not the character you might have been hoping for, but I know his Ken is definitely just as solid as his Terry. Um, it's just been a very long time since we've seen him play, so I'm very excited to see um, if he's got anything new to show, if he's got some skills that I completely forgot about. So right now, he's showing that he knows his combos. I still, again, I don't know how much Smash he plays, but he really shows that he still has those combos down. He really knows his uh, character, but... Wow, Gargan gets the snipe with the neutral B. That was very nice, um, I guess if you want to call it mix-up or unexpected option. Yeah, that was a really well-timed option for Gargan. And if you guys don't remember Gargan, uh, they haven't participated in too many tournaments. I believe only one, but they definitely have shown their stuff. They placed, I believe, around first or second in the one tournament they played a couple, a season and a couple tournaments, tournament weeks ago now. But this player, they played Sephiroth in bracket. They were able to beat the Bowser named Horns Up, as well as, I believe, even Luxray back when they had participated. So, a very good player, and as well as very well rounded in terms of the character archetypes he plays between Sephiroth, Byleth, and many others that he did play. I believe even Dalkin was one of them. And so we're seeing right now that Ruckus is having a bit of struggle getting in on this Byleth, which makes sense. This character is one of those characters where with uh, with Ruckus, with all the Shoto player, all the Shoto characters like Ken, Ryu, and then also including like Terry. Uh, these characters have a bit of a hard time being camped if you have like very large um, projectiles or just very large long lasting hitboxes. And Byleth definitely has the long range. And we're seeing the up tilt trying to come out. The reverse up tilt. Ooh. Oh, oh my wow. gosh! Goes no shield break. Shield. But Look that's the type. That's the type of um, pressure you kind of want if you're Gargant right now. Is you have this player now. He's at half shield. He's got to really worry about if that side B that was buffed. That that giant arcing move gets the tipper. If it pokes your shield. If it breaks my shield. And that's definitely gonna break something as it sends Ruckus into the Blast Zone, man. That down smash that also got buffed. Byleth, man. Yeah, he definitely see. gets that, uh, like you said, that down smash and punish that uh, charge down B. It looks like that, if I just got the right spacing. It looks like at the moment that Garden has been taking a lot of st stage control, but at the same time, I think it's been also split. What do you think? I think I can definitely agree to it being split. I think that early on this match, as a stock one, it seemed about first stock and a half, we saw neutral kind of being, all neutral advantages seem to be winning in uh, Gargan's favor. And now as we start to wind down to the last stock of the set, 
I think that what's kind of going on is Ruckus is definitely a good player. Like, he's definitely no one to scoff at. He's won his share of tournaments here at IPG, and as I say that, he's definitely tying this game up here with barely any percent to separate them. And as we know, Ken is a character that, like many others, can apply pressure in on your shield like no other. He has a multitude of shield break combos, and I, someone piloting it like Ruckus, who's very flowcharty as well, he's able to pilot this character in a very special way, but as I said, that Gargan doesn't hit the edgeguard attempt, the Nair does not connect either, charges the after parry! Oh, gets the parry. Goes the oh, wow. Texan. Wow, gets the tech. That was very good awareness. I'm telling you, I, I think if so Ruckus gets one of those short Yukins, it is over. He's already at kill for and he's going for it. Oh, and he's gonna Very pay smart for it. stuff from uh, Gargant there. That was so smart, and I'll explain why in the replay. That was just so smart on Gargant's part for going for up smash rather than something like up smash. And as we see here, we you see Ruckus, that entire interaction off stage goes for the parry, doesn't get the first, gets the fair, texts it, doesn't get the win off that neut neutral interaction. Almost breaks shield here, but then right here, goes for that, goes for the fair, misses, right here up B, and because uh, Gargant went for up smash, the scoop hitbox of uh, up smash was just large enough for it to connect perfectly so that um, he couldn't DI out or SDI out or something like that. And luckily for him, he was able to uh, take that suck like that rather than having to worry about getting the F smash, which for Byleth is, is a much, um, it's a much longer uh, lasting hitbox, but it's also much slower to come out. I've definitely had my experiences where I'm trying to throw out my forward smash as Byleth and it just doesn't connect fast enough and you're able to shield. So I think that was just such a smart option to pick. So I'm very curious to see what happens like in terms of like character switches, if any, because I could see the Terry, I could see Ryu even to get more projectile play. Terry's, or uh, Ryu rather, his, um, sure you can, no, I sure you can, his Hadoukens. The, you have the different variations, you can speed them up, you can slow them down. You have the multi-hit fire one, you have the regular Hadouken that can just give you a bit more uh, projectile pressure as well as you have a bit better shield break combos that I know of, I just don't know how to do them, man, but they definitely exist, so definitely respect these characters. What do you think Gargant was doing right in that match, Santiago? I think Gargant was just very solid with his spacing. I, I, I get the feeling that I always say about every player that I talk about, but in all honesty, I'm just very, I'm very appreciative of how he has very great awareness in terms of when he is in various interactions with his opponents. And it's almost like in every type of like interaction, which is what's very impressive. I noticed that he was doing very good with his spot dodges. He wasn't overusing them but he knew how to balance it. So, um, I don't have too much more to say about that. Um, I'll probably just have to take more note of exactly what he's doing in this match, but already 47% combo. What what a character. So yeah. Gargan up one nothing, but I want to make sure I show some love and appreciation to Solidus Hedgehog, the uh, forever string boss here, donating $5 twice in, in um, two increments. Um, so thank you, uh, Solidus Hedgehog. We are uh, two thirds of the way on our way to our uh, uh, donation goal for tonight. Man, this is looking much closer than that first match went. And I think that this is also just a sign that Ruckus, like we've talked about, like, being a player who's kind of just always been here in terms of like his, like always at the top, but also like always competing uh, back when he was so active, is that. He's one of those care players that really doesn't care about stage select in terms of like he's playing somebody that he knows he can maybe like download, if that's the word you want to say. Because look at that. Now only at 98%, you know Ra Terry's a big rage monster. He loves that rage. He loves keeping that rage and doing a whole zero death or taking your entire stock with one combo. And here we see it starts, doesn't get that much off that down tilt, but we know how much Terry's love their down tilt, and, or uh, pens rather. They look so much, man. Just take off the hat. Uh, we're seeing him, gets the fair, gets the up smash, 48, 2%, goes for grab, whips the grab, up tilt, no parry coming out. Looked like he was trying to go for that parry too and solidify that kill. Oh, wow, break. gets on what the great spacing. Enough, enough uh, taps on the shield to fully break it, that was very well played right there. Funny enough, we've been talking about uh, the Shadow Shield Break setups all night. 
this entire set so far, we've been like, yeah, man, Terry's or Ken's got all these shield break combos, right? And so far, the only one that's broken his shield is Byla. So, <laughs> right, trying to tell us wrong or something. Yeah. Yeah, it, especially I know. I'm not sure what. Oh, wow. And that's really one of the things I really find very. It, it, cute, it still to this day confuses me. It always looks like Ken Shore, you can just pops you up way too high, but you know it's. When you least expect it, it's going to take your stock, just as it did right there. So, right now, Ruckus is in... I don't want to jinx him or anything, but he's in a much better position this match than the previous game. But, yeah. Gargant is definitely looking to take the stock as soon as possible. I'm sure, I'm sure that's what we're all thinking at this very moment. Yeah, I'm sure too, because we're seeing him starting to get up to that 100% era, but we're also keep in mind, Ken's one of those big boys, man. He, he's not the heaviest, but he's definitely a character that can live super long if you if you let him. And also keep in mind, that one up B was so well placed, not only because of him jumping to catch with the reverse up B, but also because Ken's up B usually connects with, like, its multi-hitbox. And so that that's what carries you up. But because of that, what a good spot that, by the way. Um, because of that, when you get all of those multi-hitboxes, you have to SCI out so hard if you're the person getting hit, which is very easy to just hold away from him. And it makes you live all the way to like 160 almost, for most characters. And it can be causing pain, like a lot of pain with pens, because like, it's so hard to then get that kill that up here. But um, doesn't look like it's going to have too much of an effect on him here. Spot uh, air dodges through that uh, arrow. Gargan's having a little bit of trouble, but just as I say it, take, finally gets that stock. You know, even though the rage is gone, I still think that Guardians at kill percent. Definitely Ooh. kill percent now. Air dodge is off stage, extent. but it doesn't matter. That recovery is definitely going to get violent back on stage. But Guardian looking to make this comeback. Oh, oh nice. Oh, no. FADC. And that's what I'm wow. talking about. That, see how much the SCI and DI there affected that? He almost, that was he so almost scary there. Down there. Did you see that? Yeah, nice, nice coverage. Didn't need it though, but it was really smart just in case to go out and throw out my pair. Because you knew that if you're Gargan, you're going to try and instant tether up to the ledge. And as we see right here, as um, Ruckus goes for the edge guard after getting uh, nared, rather, uses the armor from his down B, up B's, the SDI out from Gargan's really great here, jumps off Ruckus, fair, up B's, then goes for a fair again, right here. Doesn't connect, but that's because Byleth is too far away to even grab the ledge. And even then, like, had it happened, like, had he been able to get that ledge, it would have connected and hit, hit by straight to the blast zone. So it would have been a win for Ruckus either way. And I think that's just really smart when you're that type of player. Like, you're able to be, be aware of, like, okay, this is the option he wants. And if I'm able to stop that option at all, as well as apply that much pressure to see that you're, like, already coming out, they might think that, oh, I'm going to connect to the ledge anyways, and then they're going to kill me. So you might not even drift in. You might not realize that you have all these options still, because now your eyes are checking Ken. And even if that's not, not necessarily the exact thing that happens, whether it's just due to um, with um, Ruckus docking far enough away in general, I think that was a great show of adaptation from Ruckus. Didn't need to switch characters. Didn't even need to switch stages. Just switched up his game plan enough from what he like understood from the first game because we saw him kind of just adapt a bit from the end of that first game they played in the set and now it's looking like he's kind of adapted fully got the download now we get to see if Gargant now is going to do the same thing Ready? looks like they're saying the exact same characters I'm not really surprised they both have very good control over them these past two matches and as I was hinting at a little bit in the last match, it looked like Gargant was trying to slowly get that comeback. So these two are very well aware of um, how they want to play. But we're going to see, as you mentioned, Cherry, if there's any going to be new kinds of uh, play styles due to adaptation. Ooh. Yeah. Dash back, dashes back and forth and gets the grab and gets the tipper. Goes for a very, very um, high risk. Tries to get that solid down there but does not connect it and now look at that got 30 percent off of that one combo this is crazy but then gargant answers right back look at that these characters are adding on so much damage so quickly Ooh, shield doesn't get up smashed 
Wow, what, what the option goes for, I think, fair into up B. Does get the hit, doesn't do too much damage, but also whiffs that, whiffs the up B as well. No punish from Gargan. Goes to the watch. That Drunk was very is shield. Playing very patiently now. We really love the pauses here, shifting up the uh, neutral pacing pretty much just well enough to where Gargan may have been thinking something would happen, only to be tripped up. Goes to the shield break combo, does not hit the sub correct, and misses the shield. Um, gets mile pushed away, but now we're going to be seeing Gargan in a situation where his shield might be a bit low. Doesn't get him a true punish there, gets the multi jab instead. Pretty much tying up the damage again. But I think now it's going to be, like, we're at a point now where I think both these players have adapted to each other's, like, ideas and game plans. So now it's oh, going to no. be a miss oh, hit, but no B reverse goodness. on that up B. And that honestly might just be what it is, is that now, never mind. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> whatever maybe, that thought maybe was, credit. never mind. He's He's ready to go back into action. I think I think now that this has happened, I think it's gonna be neck and neck. Like that one misinput wasn't really enough to push Ruckus back, but it was just enough to where um, now he is behind the percent lead. But look at these combos, guys! Look at these block these block strings. Really great use of your moves as Kenneth Shoto. There it is, down smash or down here into up here. Really Willing nice combo. Take that Keeps forward smash in or to attack on a little bit of damage. He's gonna go for it again. Uh, that might be it. No, yeah. Right. Nice, nice SDI. I think that was also the weak version of Sure You Can. But we're seeing an SDI out, or a, uh, air dodge out from Gargant again, who looks a bit rattled after all of that time. And that's even another type of pressure. Nice forward smash read. And that type of pressure from uh, Ruckus. Like, it's not only just shield pressure now, it's multiple types. It's just the fact that he's just beating on you all this time. Really nice combo with Uppy into. Um, Side B. The up B from Miles is actually buffed as well. Oh my Ooh. gosh, and another then again. miss input. He definitely did not mean to do Hadoken. I, I think he was trying to side B. Yeah, he might and have been trying to do up, the... He just kept drifting and then uh, it just looked like he got himself in a bad position. Uh, and just like that, this game is tied up again. Yeah, I think both players are showing some nerves. Oh my gosh. That looks, that looks so much scarier than it probably was. <laughs> yeah, well, I think even my neutral getup, uh, just like how we saw in the first game, that might just scoop them up in the air. <gasps> oh, tough spot. No jump. That's, that's so gonna unfortunate. While he wow, he snapped his jump. I, or, no, he'd used that jump, but the arrow just took him too far. I'm surprised he didn't Tatsu at the end. I'm. I guess that. What about the side Tatsu too? Now, safe. <sighs> That's unfortunate. It looks like... I, I hope that Ruckus' mentality wasn't shaked too much from those two SDs, because um, that could just be very, very degrading in a person's mindset. So I hope that that doesn't hurt him for the rest of the tournament, but my goodness, what a first round for uh, a winner sets. I was only the first... Yeah. I was just going to say also that I think that it's really interesting how um, we can talk both of these players up so much. Like, we have Gargan, who definitely has performed extremely well in the past, the one tournament that he showed up to. And then we also have um, Ruckus, who's participated in many tournaments and has had really positive results, man. And I think that's very interesting to now see how many of these players are now coming back now that it's kind of the summer uh, starting, maybe summer school or school is over the summer and everything.